Clinton's here. She's an enormous Bernie Sanders fan. And, uh, tomorrow is her 81st birthday.
fighting for in this campaign, and I don't want to be overly dramatic in saying this, is the future of American democracy. All of you know yeah. what a disaster this Citizens United Supreme Court decision has been. You are living in a country right now where the Koch brothers alone will spend more money on this election than either the Democratic Party or the Republican Party. One family. That to me is not democracy. That is oligarchy. We're going to overturn Citizens United. public funding of elections. Yeah. I want the American people, whether they're conservative, whether they're progressive like us, whatever they may be, moderate, I want young people to say, you know what, I'm interested in government. I'm going to run for office. And I want them to be able to run for office without begging money from the rich and the poor. As adults, my wife and I have how many kids? Oh yeah, it's four kids. We've got four kids and seven grandchildren. Uh, I didn't do it all that. Uh, and we believe, as I know all of you do, that as adults, as parents, as grandparents, we have a moral responsibility to make sure that we leave this planet in a way that is happy. that climate change is real, it's caused by human activity, it's already causing devastating problems in our country and around the world. Scientists tell us that if we don't get our act together in a short window of opportunity, the kind of planet we're going to be leaving our kids and grandchildren will not be a pleasant one. So what we have got to do is clearly transform our energy system away from fossil fuel to energy efficiency to sustainable energy. beyond my comprehension how, in a competitive global economy, hundreds of thousands of bright young people today are not able to go to college, even though they are all what, what an insult to those young, hard-working kids who want to make it into the middle class, who want to become scientists and engineers and doctors, and telling them, sorry, you don't have the money. You're not going to be able to get the education that you need. And what an absurdity it is for us as a country that wants to have a strong economy in years to come to deny them the right to get a college education. And that is why we have introduced legislation which we will implement as president, which will provide free tuition at every public college. In the because he didn't have his license plate on the front of his car. 
People should not be dragged off to death, to jail, to die three days later, like Sandra Bland, because she did not see the right including very fundamental police reform, use of force. Yeah! They did a very hard look at the war on drugs and why it is that we have in this country more people in jail than any other country on earth. Yeah. So our job, and tied into that, by the way, is something that nobody talks about, very few people talk about. And that is the outrageously high rate of youth unemployment in America. That's right. Here's the statistics. We asked the Economic Policy Institute to do a study for us on youth unemployment. This is what they found. For kids who graduated high school between the ages of 17 and 20, if they are white, their unemployment or underemployment rate is 33%. If they are Hispanic, it is 36%. If they are African American, it is 51%. We are turning our backs on an entire generation of young people, and it is not an accident that many of these kids standing out on street corners end up in jail. So I would rather invest in education and jobs than jail. Political movement is about. 
What the Republicans want, I don't know if any of you happen to, uh, uh -huh. what can I say? <laughs> What the Republicans believe, and if you read between the lines, I know the rhetoric and I know the, the code words that what the Republicans believe in are more tax breaks for billionaires, massive cuts in Medicare, Medicaid, education, federal aid, cuts to Social Security, and defying all of science, which tells us how serious climate change is. That's their agenda. And it is a, an agenda funded by the Koch brothers and other billionaires. Now these guys have huge amounts of money, and frankly they have huge amounts of power. But I believe that when we stand together, when black and white stand together, when gay and straight stand together, when women and men stand together, based on immigration and where the country we came from, when we stand together. There is nothing, nothing that we cannot accomplish.